All right, guys, well, it is time for Better Bet. Just Joe and I right now. We're going to do head-to-head props that are available right now on ESPN right. Bet. This is going to be a fun one. Okay, let's get into it. First one, Jalen Brown or Kyrie Irving, who is going to score more points in this series? Surprised at the pricing on this one to an extent. I know Irving's the bigger draw. I play Jalen Brown here at even money. All right, think of it like this. They're both number two scoring options on their respective team. But so far this postseason, you've got Brown scoring 25 points per game mm-hmm. to Irving's 22. That might seem close, but then look at it like this. Brown's played 40 or more minutes in just four of 14 playoff games. Irving's played 40 or more minutes in 10 of 17 playoff games. So not only am I scoring more with Brown, I'm not even playing as many minutes. In this series, it's going to be more comparable. The Derek White, Drew Holiday matchup mm-hmm. on Kyrie Irving is going to be problematic. Jalen Brown, that's a good price right there for that, that proposition. <laughs> I like it. I agree with you. I also think they're going to neutralize Kyrie Irving, so it makes more sense to take Jalen Brown at plus 100. All right, let's keep it pushing here. More assists. Kyrie Irving or Drew Holiday. I'm going to go and take the lead on this one. I'm going to go with Kyrie Irving. Ah. For the reasons that you just mentioned of how they're going to defend him. And then if you're thinking of the Dallas Mavericks, is your main focus going to be Drew Holiday? Probably not. The guy's just going to be able to put up probably some points, but I don't think he's going to be the biggest facilitator. Now, Irving and Holiday both so far in this postseason are averaging the same amount of assists. That's five per game, but we know that the minutes are going to be there with Kyrie Irving. So we go to Irving, minus 105. I do not disagree. I would throw one note in there. Holiday's averaging just over four assists per game for the regular season, but in the two matchups against Dallas, he had six assists and seven assists. Mm. It's a good matchup for him as a facilitator. Keep that in mind. That's why you're seeing the price in minus 135. Okay, just disagree. Not um, disagreeing, right. just supplementing. <laughs> no, just, supplementing. Giving, just giving a stat dig. That's what we're going to start calling just them, stat digs. All right, more points in the series. Jason Tatum or Kyrie Irving? All yeah. right, so I already like Brown against Irving. It would make sense to like uh, Tatum against Irving as well. We've got to minus 190 here rather than even money but we do get a player who's scoring more and shooting more in the postseason than Jalen Brown is the key is the floor for both players if you look at Tatum this postseason he scored at least 20 points in 12 of 14 playoff games very rare does he have a really bad night which is going to affect your average in a very short series of a maximum of seven games meanwhile Irving 16 or fewer points in five of 17 playoff games you have one bad night it's really going to affect the average so we're going to play the safe number here with Tatum at minus 190. And a bad night for Tatum feels like 24 points when you're expecting him to have 30 plus and whatnot. But yes, between these two, obviously I would pick Jason Tatum. But I'm at minus 190. It's not my favorite head-to-head matchup. Worst postseason performance he had was 16 points. So we've got a nice high floor there. Okay. All right, what do we got? got more rebounds in the series. Gafford or Jalen Brown? Huh? I'm going to go with Gafford. And hear me out on this one. So they just played Minnesota. That's That series, obviously, the defense was really, really good. He only played 21 minutes and he averaged seven rebounds. Meanwhile, for Jalen Brown, they just played an easy pacer squad. The defense wasn't there. And he only had, what, five rebounds with an average of 41 minutes played. So the minutes are more likely going to be there for Jalen Brown that you're yeah. thinking that. But, of course, the issue here with Gafford, I know you're going to say it, is if Porzingis is in the lineup and he's healthy and he's good to go. But I do like Gafford to have more rebounds head-to-head. You think you know me, but you don't. I wasn't mm, going to say no. anything about Porzingis. I was going to comment on two things. Gafford's gone over 30 minutes once in 17 games this mm-hmm. postseason. He's very effective rebounding wise when he's in there something to keep in mind because you know Brown's going 40 minutes a night number two Boston best rebounding team in the NBA this season right around 54 percent was their rebounding rate now Minnesota was number two and he had a lot of success against them but Boston is a very elite team on the glass so you like Jalen Brown oh no I agree with you agree with everything with, with, with EKD he has to sit next to me every day so that makes sense it makes life <laughs> far easier <laughs> I'm gonna try to boast at what I look like, right? I'm gonna try to wear, I pull up my brain. Jimmy with the heat, I'm on fire. It's NBA, I'm here. Keep it fun.